today's graphic design tip of the day. For today's tip, we're going into Adobe Illustrator to learn how to make a travel poster. The process is finding your images that you're going to be drawing on top of and replacing those with the sketch that you've created. And then finally drawing on top of it with either the pen or pencil tool with a few steps in between. You can see travel posters are one of my favorite things to do in design. Here's some examples on the screen right now of previous designs that I've created. But let's go ahead and get started in this process. As I said, you always want to sketch out your idea first, finding out where you're going to be placing your items, doing your research ahead of time to find out which places are important, monuments, whatever is in the place that you are creating that travel poster for. Make sure you include nicely and organized in your poster design, as well as the text. Think about your typography and how you're going to be adding in that visual hierarchy with your text and your design, the title being most important and anything else that is subtext would be less important to the viewer. So after you create your sketch, you know where everything's going to go, find your reference images. So finding images to replace out um, the sketch that you created and placing them in perspective in the design. That way you can draw right on top of this in Adobe Illustrator or Gravit Designer. Um, you can also Photoshop this all first if that's a little bit easier for you rather than keeping a bunch of layers with images. Either be deleted when you are completely done. You don't want any actual photos left on the design. Everything should be drawn by you. Now, I also created a color palette. This is really important in this stage in the game to find out which colors you're going to be using throughout your design. I used Adobe Color for this, highly recommend that app. Um, you can see that I used Classic Blue as my main search color, which means just plugging it into that middle spot on um, Adobe Color. And I can click through the different color harmonies to see what pairs really well with that. I took screenshots of a few different options here that I'll be using my eyedropper to grab and add right into my design. After you have your reference images on there, you know what colors you're going to use, you are ready to start drawing. Like I said, you can use the pen tool or you can use the pencil tool. That's the same thing, just freehand drawing rather than drawing with straight lines or with curves. So it's up to you and what you'd like to use. I use the pen tool mostly when I'm creating this type of thing just because I do want those really nice straight edges that are refined versus something that's a little bit more organic with the pencil tool. And as you go through, you're just drawing right on top of each of your pieces that you create. So you can see that I started to do this on this poster already. I'm hiding that sketch there, I started to draw the building out, break down the ground of where all those different pieces are going to go. And as you draw each thing with the pencil tool, make another layer just as an example here, as you draw a shape on top of your image here, just use your eyedropper tool and grab the color from your color palette that you chose and you can just add those in just like it's color by number. Um, I'm going to move this picture off of there so you can see the rest of what I do have done so far. And there we have it. Still a lot of work to go, but um, it has a lot of potential so far with the space. And here is the final design. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's graphic design tip of the day. 